Okay, so Otto Lehringer Rhinology Ear, Nose and Throat 2017. And this time I made my presentation in such a way so that you can jot it down everything to your notebooks. And uh, that would be helpful for your third year professional examination for ENT. And this will be also helpful for your PG entrance examination. I am Aburo from GMERS Medical College, Ahmedabad. You could always put it to my inbox your feedbacks and your suggestions to improvise on my videos. Let's start straightforward with the anatomy of external ear, first one being pinna. What are the parts of pinna? The outer rim is the helix, this is the anti-helix, right? This is the triangular fossa, this is the scaphoid fossa, this is the tragus, this one is anti-tragus, this one is simba concha, and this is concha cavum. This is the lobule of the ear, which is devoid of cartilage. Three P's for pinna. Pinna, perichondritis, it's going to be very painful. And the cartilage which pinna is made up of is yellow elastic cartilage. And it is itself avascular and it derives nutrition from the perichondrium. So we have cartilage, perichondrium and the skin. If there is anything which separates the cartilage and perichondrium, the cartilage is going to be necrosed. Another speciality about yellow elastic cartilage is it never gets ossified in contrast to highline cartilages like thyroid cartilage or thyroid or cricoid or at the back of larynx we have base of arytenoid, right? These cartilage are highline cartilage and at the later stage of life they may get ossified. So this ossification in highline cartilage may be helpful to know the calcification pattern of say laryngeal carcinoma. This is the difference between highline cartilage and elastic cartilage. This area is devoid of cartilage between tragus and the ascending crux of the helix. It is called incisura terminalis. And it is used to, um, this area is used to give Lampert's incision during mastoid surgery. Right? There are different approaches for mastoid surgery, the post auricular approach or maybe end oral approach at the um, incisura terminalis. Right? The cartilage of the ear can be used in various types of reconstructive surgeries like meringoplasty means reconstruction of tympanic membrane, rhinoplasty means cosmetic reconstruction of the external nose and LR repair, right? Mastoid tenderness can be elicited at three different places. This one is Simba concha, the zygoma in front of somewhere here and the mastoid tip, right? At this three place, if you press, uh, there'll be tenderness in the acute mastoiditis. On contrast, tragal tenderness, if you press here, tragal tenderness will be present in furunculosis. So, mastoid and tragal tenderness.